The sun, the source of all life on Earth, could ultimately be the reason for its extinction. Will we survive its fiery end? Is there any way to save Earth? Our sun, a magnificent celestial body, it burns at millions of degrees, producing light and heat. It formed about 4.6 billion years ago from a giant molecular cloud. This cloud collapsed under its gravity, giving birth to our solar system. It's currently in its main sequence, a stable period of its life. During this phase, the sun shines brightly, providing the energy necessary for life on Earth. From the smallest microorganisms to the largest ecosystems, the sun's energy is vital. Plants need it for photosynthesis. This process allows them to convert sunlight into energy. This process creates oxygen and food. Every breath we take, the energy in our food, it's all a gift from the sun. It drives the winds, ocean currents, and climate systems. The sun's energy creates rain and snow, providing us with vital water sources. We often take the sun for granted. It's always there, rising and setting, a constant in our lives. But this won't last forever. The sun, which has shone for billions of years, will eventually meet its end as all things in the universe. One day, its demise may spell the end of all life on Earth. If humanity endures long enough, will we find a way to escape the sun's death? Will we be able to save our blue planet? Could we discover a new home orbiting a different star? Like us, stars have a life cycle. They are born from clouds of gas and dust, live for millions or even billions of years and eventually die, leaving remnants that tell their story. This cycle is a fundamental part of the universe, creating new stars and planets. Our sun is no different. It is a typical star following the same life cycle as countless others in the cosmos. The sun's fuel is finite and in about five billion years it will run out. When the sun exhausts all of its hydrogen fuel, it will mark the beginning of the end for our star. It'll start burning helium, a process that is less efficient and more unstable than hydrogen fusion. This will cause the sun to expand dramatically, swelling to many times its current size and transforming into a red giant. How severe are the consequences of a star entering its red giant phase? Astronomers have observed a star, BD plus 48740, devouring one of its planets. This star is similar to our sun, but is older and currently in its red giant phase, expanding to 11 times the size of our sun. Researchers believe that this red giant has scorched its planet, pulling it into its atmosphere and effectively destroying a once thriving rocky world. This discovery raises an alarming question. Could Earth face a similar fate as our sun ages? Astronomers are confident that the inner rocky planets will experience devastating effects. The first victim will be Mercury, which will be consumed as the sun begins to expand. Next, Venus will be engulfed, and there is a possibility that Earth could also be swallowed. Some scientists even speculate that Mars might meet the same fate. Even if Earth is not completely engulfed by the sun, Earth will find itself increasingly closer to the sun's intense heat. Temperatures will soar, oceans will boil away, and the atmosphere will be stripped away. It will get so close that its orbit will gradually be pulled inward. Ultimately, even if Earth's orbit were to move farther from the Sun, which some estimates suggest could occur, nothing on its surface would endure. Life as we know it would be obliterated. The surface would become molten. Considering we will survive that long, will we be able to save the Earth? One radical idea for escaping the dying Sun is to physically move the Earth itself. While this concept may sound like something out of a science fiction novel, scientists have developed intriguing concepts with some scientific basis that could be explored by advanced civilizations in the future. The idea revolves around using the gravitational forces of celestial bodies to our advantage. We could potentially use the gravitational pull of a 60 mile wide asteroid to alter Earth's orbit. By harnessing the mass and trajectory of these space rocks, we could create a controlled push or pull on our planet. By carefully directing asteroids close to Earth, we could slowly nudge our planet further away from the expanding sun. This process would be gradual, requiring precise calculations and timing. This would require immense precision and control over celestial objects. The technology needed to achieve this would be groundbreaking involving advanced space engineering and real-time monitoring systems. It's a monumental engineering challenge, to say the least. 
the coordination of multiple space missions, the development of new propulsion systems, and the management of potential risks are just a few of the hurdles we would face. While theoretically possible, moving Earth comes with enormous risks. The slightest error in calculations or execution could lead to disastrous outcomes. The slightest miscalculation could have catastrophic consequences. A misdirected asteroid could collide with Earth, causing massive destruction, or it could alter our orbit in an unintended way. It could send Earth hurtling out of the solar system or even into a collision course with another planet. The stability of our orbit is delicate and any significant change could have far-reaching effects. We will need to successfully navigate asteroid orbits millions of times. With each attempt requiring absolute precision, it will take thousands of years. And we're talking about a distance of 300 miles from Earth's surface each time. Any collision with space debris or a smaller asteroid could transform our trajectory into a catastrophic one. This kind of solution is currently far from our reach, but some scientists believe there is a simpler alternative. One that we could achieve even within our lifetime. An easier option might be to colonize other planets within our solar system. Mars, our closest neighbor, has long been a target for human exploration. While currently inhospitable, Mars could become more viable by releasing trapped greenhouse gases to thicken the atmosphere and warm the planet. Maybe the answer is to create a second Earth. But is moving Earth or creating a second Earth on Mars truly safe? Some believe the Sun could eventually engulf Mars as well. Even if that doesn't happen, discoveries made by astronomers regarding BD plus 48740 suggest that nowhere in our solar system may remain safe. This solar system contains a gas giant planet that is 1.6 times larger than Jupiter. Unlike the rocky planets in this system, it has not been devoured. It boasts the highest elliptical orbit ever discovered for a planet around an older star. Its orbit, which is believed to have originally been circular like most planets, has likely changed due to a catastrophic event. Scientists theorize that this may be the result of an inner planet being engulfed by the Sun, which disrupted the orbits of other planets, including this gas giant. This suggests that our solar system could become chaotic and unpredictable, rendering no planet truly safe. Collisions, ejections from the solar system that result in rogue planets, or even the possibility of ending up within our scorched sun, nothing is certain. Even if we manage to survive in a stable orbit on a safe planet or moon, the red giant phase of the sun is temporary. In approximately two billion years, the sun will shed its outer layers. These layers will be ejected into space, forming a beautiful planetary nebula. It'll leave behind a dense core called a white dwarf, but it no longer undergoes fusion, marking the end of our sun's life. Will we be advanced enough to survive without the heat of our sun? Surprisingly, we may have already come up with potential solutions for dealing with the absence of the sun. But before I reveal this solution, Think about our descendants billions of years into the future, what odds they will be confined to Earth. In fact, scientists have calculated promising methods for interstellar evacuation and colonization. To explore the concept of a futuristic black hole engine, click on the next video. And for the laboratory in California that may soon create the first artificial star on our planet, click the video below.